If you're still studying cybersecurity in 2025, you've already lost. Look, I know that sounds harsh, but let's be real. Half the people studying cybersecurity right now are buried in PDFs titled The CIA Triad, while some kid named Zero X Byte Drainer just breached a fintech startup because they forgot to sanitize their inputs. You're still on Chapter 12 of Networking Essentials, and he's already dropped ransomware on a Kubernetes cluster. What I'm saying is, we need to talk, because the brutal truth is this. Cybersecurity isn't something you learn by studying. It's something you learn by getting your hands dirty. You don't become a hacker by watching 47 hours of YouTube videos and taking color-coded notes with highlighters like it's 10th grade biology. You become a hacker when you boot up Kali Linux, break your own internet, and spend six hours trying to fix a single config file before realizing you were editing the wrong one. Let's get this straight. When I say stop studying cybersecurity, I'm not saying to stop learning. I'm saying stop only learning. People treat this like academia, like you'll eventually graduate and unlock the title of Hacker Level 1. Newsflash, there is no graduation. The game changes every week. The people winning in this field aren't waiting for permission. They're in their basements scanning half the internet for open ports at 2 a.m. while you're still memorizing what TCP stands for. Now let's talk about the certificate collectors. You know who you are. CEH, Security Plus, OSCP, CISSP. You've stacked more badges than a Pokemon trainer. Your resume looks like a government ID. And yet, you still type nmap dash dash help every single time. There are people out here flexing digital badges on LinkedIn like it's an RPG, but can't even write a basic reverse shell. You don't need more certs, you need reps. Meanwhile, some 16-year-old on Hack the Box with the username Rootkit69 is chaining misconfigurations like it's a dance move, because while you're waiting to finish that eight-week Udemy course, they're already building their own malware on GitHub. They're learning by doing, by failing by breaking stuff and figuring out why it broke. That's how you actually learn security. So how do you get good? You install Kali, you run a CTF. You don't know how anything works, but you Google every error. You copy-paste commands from Stack Overflow like a madman. You read exploit code without knowing half of what it does, but you run it anyway. Then you wipe your system and do it again. You set up a home lab, you run Burp Suite. Now you poke things, you fail miserably. But each failure teaches you something a course never could. Of course, right around the corner is the elite gatekeeping squad. Uh, you know the type. They tell you not to even look at a web app until you've mastered assembly. And heaven forbid you use ChatGPT or Google. They'll call you a script kitty faster than you can say sudo. Ignore them. Nobody starts with binary exploitation. Everyone starts lost and confused. It's okay to use tools. It's okay to not know what you're doing. Well, that's part of it. But while you're busy decoding gatekeeper's approval, someone else is decoding JWTs and cashing out. You know, like the folks pulling in $1,000, $5,000, even $10,000 plus from hacking. Just by knowing where to look, what to exploit, and how to turn vulnerabilities into payouts. That's exactly what we break down inside Cyberflows Academy. No fluff, no outdated theory, just the real skills that get results. Web hacking, bug bounty, reverse engineering, and full ethical hacking. All taught step by step, so you actually know what you're doing. We even have a private community where hackers share exploits before they go public, so you'll see exactly how others are landing four-figure bounties and how you can do the same. Some members have made back their investment in weeks, others have turned hacking into a full-time job, spots are closing fast, every day you wait, some guy with a smart toaster is getting ahead of you. Click below, get inside, and start making hacking pay. Because the truth is, cybersecurity has no perfect roadmap. It's more like a series of rabbit holes with trapdoors and landmines and probably a keylogger. You don't need to understand kernel exploits to write a phishing email. You don't need to reverse engineer firmware to find exposed APIs. You just need curiosity, persistence, and a willingness to break things, especially your own ego. So when I say stop studying cybersecurity, what I really mean is stop only studying it. Reading without doing is mental masturbation. It makes you feel productive, but leaves you no closer to real skill. You're just pretending. So stop studying cybersecurity. Start doing cybersecurity. That's how you actually get dangerous.